everyone! So today I'm doing a super exciting collab. I'm doing a makeup collab with Cecilia Maria here on YouTube. She is Danish, uh, but she does makeup videos and YouTube videos um, in English. And she and I have talked for I think a half year now and you will have seen her in the comment section down below if you watch my videos. And she's so so super nice. She has great makeup opinions. I really trust her judgment in her reviews and stuff like that. And we're doing a collab today that is a makeup tutorial which features all drugstore makeup and all makeup geek eyeshadows. So our eyeshadows, both of our eyeshadows will be all makeup geek. And I love Makeup Geek. As you can see, I have quite a bit of Makeup Geek shadows. My eye look is more cool toned and a bit colorful actually, so it's a bit new for me, but I really like it. And hers are more warm toned, so if you like more warm toned look, you really should take inspiration from hers. And if you want something um, a bit more cool toned, a bit colorful, then maybe you would like mine. Um, so yeah, please keep on watching. I will link all her information down below and I'm sorry about the lighting in the makeup portion. It's very yellow but the color does come out really true to color. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Um, so I haven't figured out how to get my kind of studio lights over where I film my makeup. So that's still a struggle but I hope you like it and yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so let's go then. I'm just gonna get my hair out of the way using a hairband. So I'm just gonna start off with my primer which I chose the Garnier 5 second blur just because I really like a blurring primer underneath the foundations I'm gonna use. I'm just pushing this into my skin. I'm going to try to only use drugstore brushes as well so this will be like an all drugstore type video so I'm gonna mix two foundations you definitely don't have to do this I just felt like it <laughs> and I'm gonna mix the bourgeois healthy mix which you all know that I love and the bourgeois happy light so I'm gonna mix these two together okay just like that and I'm gonna take the Rimmel London wake me up concealer just around my face a little bit I really don't mind my spots and stuff coming through. I'm just in kind of a period with my face where it's just doing everything I do not want it to do. So I just have to accept that and move on. 502 or 503. I will list it down below. Taking that on my Soeva brush and putting that on my cheekbones. Up under the eye. And I really like using this powder just through kind of the center of my face to lighten it up. I'm just going to take this darker powder and contour with that just on the tip of the brush really tapping it off and lightly contour with that. Okay and now I'm going to take my Bourjois Duo which has a bronzer and a highlight and I know that Cecilia really 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 likes this. I like it. I don't love it but I like it. So I'm just going to take the bronzer side on a Zoeva Luxe Face Definer and I'm gonna slightly warm up my skin. Then with the angled brush, the 127 Lux Sheer Cheek, I'm gonna take the Milani Rose Blush in Tea Rose. I have an entire video on these if you wanna see, so I'll list that down below. I'm gonna take this and just take that to the apples. Well, not just the apples, like my cheek area. And then we're gonna take the highlight in here on a, on a, let's use this one. I'm gonna take the highlight on a 228 Lux Crease Bar Brush, this highlight right here. I think this highlight is really subtle, um, so it would be it would be like good for weddings and you know just a subtle highlight. Okay, and then I'm just gonna quickly do my brows, and I'm not gonna show you this because everyone does their brows differently. Okay, so the brows are my brows. I'm letting them grow out because I really want to go and have them done professionally and I don't like growing them out this much but um, I'm doing my best to kind of tame them a little. So let's get on to the eyes which really is the most exciting part of this look. We are going to use all Makeup Geek eyeshadows as I told you. I have my palette here and I have quite a bit of shadows so I'm gonna do a 
more cool toned and more I make like a more colorful look than I've done before on my channel so if you're new or if you're an older subscriber of mine this will be something new I hope and I hope you like it so I have applied the Milani eyeshadow primer after I did my brows and now to um, get even more of a base because I have super oily eyelids I'm going to take this Maybelline um, Letter Effect Cream Color Tattoo in Creamy Beige if I were using high-end, I would use a MAC paint pot, but this works nicely too. It's not as good, but um, it does provide a nice base. So I'm just going to take that on the brush, and this color really doesn't matter because it's not going to show through that much anyway. For me, this is just a way to prolong the longevity of the shadows. And I'm applying that with a base shadow brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to take the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And we're going to start off with... Let's see the name here. Beaches and Cream. Which is just a bit darker than my um, skin tone. Well, and a bit more yellow toned. And this is just going to go into the crease. And this is kind of warm toned, I know that. But I need a transition type shade and I don't have a cool toned um, transition shade from Makeup Geek. So just gotta work with what we got. Like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take Barcelona Beach, which really is a cool toned one, but it's um, a few shades darker. And this is gonna go into the crease as well. But just a little more precise than the last one. This really just um, is providing us something to blend with and blend up into. And then I'm just going to take a bit of Vanilla Bean. Well, you didn't see that, did you? Vanilla Bean, which is a light, slightly shimmery shade. And just going to brush that on on the inside here. Just to kind of lock that color tattoo in place. Okay, now onto the really fun part. We're gonna take a foiled eyeshadow. I love the foiled eyeshadows and we're gonna take this one in Charmed. It's gorgeous. On, let me see here. We're gonna take this on a Makeup Mecca 221 brush, but any kind of flat shader brush will do. We're just gonna pick up the product and apply that onto the lid. I like to tilt my head back just to prevent a bit of fallout. This is gonna go into the inner corner and back. I'm just gonna take a fan brush and lightly brush that away. For me the foil shadows do have a bit of fallout so we're gonna take this one. It's called Envy, a darker green. This is not foiled but it's a gorgeous green color and we're gonna put that on the outer third and get right down to the lash line there and up and you can just take like the tip of your brush and gently blend them together it they blend really really easily so this is not like this is easy anyone can do this if I can do it you can do it <laughs> and we're just going to take that blending brush again that we applied the other shadows with and gently blend this in the crease starting with the darker shade because that's kind of what I want to go up into the crease and blend over to the lighter one and if you lose any intensity in either shades just reapply this. I'm just gonna take a bit of latte and mix that with oh my gosh creme brulee no that's not creme brulee beaches What's it called? Bar Barcelona Beach. I'm going to blend Latte and Barcelona Beach together. Just a bit on my brush and go into that crease. And just keep on blending until... I'm doing this a lot. Just keep on blending until you're satisfied. I'm just going to change blending brush because this one is getting kind of dirty. To the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. And just go over here. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna take Daydreamer, which is a gorgeous lavender, lavender purple on a pencil brush or any kind of small detail brush. And we're gonna apply this on the lower lash line. I just love that. I love that shade. It's so pretty. I tried using it on my um on my lid, but it it didn't work as well there. So I like it better on the lower lash line. And it's just gonna take a bit more of that green envy color on the very outer corner. Just to darken it up a bit on the lower lash line as well. Then you're gonna take your blending brush again and blend that. And then I'm going to take yet another smallish kind of detail brush. And I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer, of course. you got to do Shimmer Shimmer. And just put that on the very inner corner. And if you already have like any of the green or purple there, that's fine. That's I, I think that looks nice. Okay, then I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. So the mascara I'm going to use is the Rimmel Wonderful Mascara with Argan Oil at least as my kind of base coat. And then I'm gonna take a bit of the Rimmel Scandalize for a bit more volume. Okay, like that. And for my bottom lash line, lash, lashes, I don't have a mascara that's um, from the drugstore that works down there. And I kind of like that purple to be, I don't know, not overshadowed by anything. So I'm gonna leave my eyes like that and go onto my lips. I'm gonna use a bit of the Rimmel um, lip liner in Spice just on the outer corner right here looking fine and I'm gonna take a bit of the NYX sand pink lip liner and fill in the rest and then I'm gonna take this Flower Cosmetics nude lip gloss on top okay so I hope you like that um, I really like this look it's kind of yeah, it's kind of different for me, but it's not too out there, and the Makeup Geek shadows are just a dream to work with. I mean, they are absolutely lovely. Mm. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and that you will check out Cecilia's channel. And by the way, if you're from her channel, hello! Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!